Welcome. My name is Brett Day, and I'm from the Public Affairs Office here. This afternoon, I'm going to spend a few minutes providing an overview of NSWC Crane and the role Public Affairs has in the organization. Before I proceed, I'd like to say congratulations on your new job. As a federal employee, you have a tremendous opportunity to make a difference. There's a strong sense of pride to work for the federal government. And I hope all of you found the oath of office meaningful as it often sets a very positive tone for new employees. Throughout the rest of the brief, I'll touch on the installation, workforce, leadership, public affairs, and the culture that you're now part of. What you're looking at is our logo. It's an important part of our brand and represents a great deal of game-changing technical work performed here for the Navy. Let me provide a brief introduction to the organization so you can begin to understand the history and who we are today. Commissioned on December 1, 1941, NSWC Crane is located in Crane, Indiana. We're a shore command of the U.S. Navy and fall under Naval Sea Systems Command, or NAVC, headquartered in D.C. Crane is one of 10 Warfare Center divisions within NAVC. NSWC Crane is the largest tenant command at Naval Support Activity Crane, with a workforce of approximately 4,300 employees supporting the mission. Other commands that reside at NSA Crane are Crane Army Ammunition Activity, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, and an EOD and Coast Guard Detachment. NSWC Crane is the third largest employer in Southwest Indiana and a top five high-tech employer in the entire state. NSWC Crane is located on the third largest naval base in the world. To provide some perspective, here's an image that compares the base with the District of Columbia. The installation is 98 square miles, or approximately 62,000 acres. To demonstrate the infrastructure that supports our operations, here's some quick facts. 410 miles of paved road, 94 miles of railroad, and nearly 3,000 buildings. Quite impressive, we have one of the world's largest Navy bases right here in Southern Indiana. As a new employee, you're now part of the engine that drives NSWC Crane. With 3,300 Navy civilians and 1,000 support contractors, the employees are the heart of the organization. We're a high-tech organization with a large focus on world-class engineering. 73% of our employees are scientists, engineers, and technicians. Many of you probably fall in one of these buckets, and we're excited for the new knowledge you'll bring to the organization. With deep roots in the region dating back 70 years, we have many multi-generational families that have provided top-notch employees who have worked here their entire career. Today, the average age in the workforce is 45. In the next three to five years, many will retire, and new employees like yourself will begin a lifelong career supporting the Navy. The top leadership at NSWC Crane is Navy Captain Jeffrey Elder and Dr. Brett Seidel, a member of the Senior Executive Service. Captain Elder is the commanding officer and top military official. An aviator at heart, he has over 20 years of diverse experience in the Navy. He's responsible for the employees, products, and support we provide the warfighter. You'll see him often speaking at events and representing the command in the community. Dr. Brett Seidel is the senior civilian for the organization. He's held various leadership roles at Crane before he was selected as technical director. Dr. Seidel is charged with oversight of our technical capabilities, which largely define our value to NAVC. He leads the technical work to help Crane design, develop, and deploy innovative technologies on all ships and all subs across the Navy. Both are great leaders with a positive attitude and believe employees come first. Be sure to talk with them if you see them around. They both enjoy interacting with employees. Here's a basic org chart that provides a high level structure of the organization. The command has six departments that organize our technical and business operations. The three boxes outlined in blue are departments that perform work for customers and sponsors. These areas possess a large concentration of scientists, engineers, and technicians. 
Global Deterrence and Defense, Special Warfare and Expeditionary Systems, and Spectrum Warfare Departments are all aligned to the technical capabilities Crane's responsible for, which shape our identity within the Department of Defense. The boxes outlined in red are business operations that directly support the boxes outlined in blue. Examples include financial management, human resources, facilities, safety, public affairs, and IT. These support functions are critical to the organization and enable the technical community to focus solely on developing and fielding solutions for the warfighter. The focus of NSWC Crane is harnessing the power of technology for the warfighter. We specialize in three mission focus areas, strategic missions, electronic warfare, and expeditionary warfare. Let's break down each focus area. The Strategic Mission Center is a trusted technical solution source for the high reliability systems and components required for the nation's strategic deterrent. Through our recognized leadership, preeminent facilities, and experienced personnel, the center is dedicated to developing, deploying, and sustaining the technologies that will ensure the vital sensors and systems are delivered to defend the homeland. The Electronic Warfare Center is a critical mass of co-located leadership that offers applied science solutions across air, ground, and maritime domains. Our experts afford electronic attack, electronic protection, and electronic support capabilities to the warfighter to ensure safe and effective missions. The Expeditionary Warfare Focus Area provides full-spectrum lifecycle engineering and testing support for reliable and effective weapons, munitions, and electronic systems for special operations and expeditionary forces. We equip the most elite warfighters with what they need in any environment they operate in. We've talked about the organization as a whole, but now I'd like to focus on public affairs. Function one, we keep the public informed. We maintain media relationships on a local, state, and national level. Our primary focus is providing accurate and timely information to our stakeholders and interested publics. Function two, we engage with the community to ensure the command is serving our surrounding communities and maintaining a positive image in the public. Examples include participating in chamber luncheons, blood drives, parades, and key community events. Function three, we have a responsibility within the organization to keep employees informed of the latest command news and initiatives. Examples include policy change and command events. We utilize multiple communication vehicles to deliver command news and pertinent information to the workforce. Prominent communication channels include Facebook, NSWC Crane News, and iCrane, NSWC Crane's intranet site. We also develop visual media such as trifolds, fact sheets, and graphics to support events, conferences, and other various instances where the command message needs to be present. Our office is a resource to you. Please consider us your communication advisors. We're public affairs practitioners here to serve you and the organization. I end with this slide. These three pillars represent our guiding principles, which shape our culture and how we operate. Ethos focuses on culture and employee engagement. Execution is all about integrating processes and being efficient with resources. Excellence is simply that, demonstrating excellence in everything you do. I'd encourage all of you to print this out and keep it in your workspace for reference. That's the end of my brief. I thank you for your time and attention today, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have.